Come and join me, Helen, in the Gone Potty Kitchen for curry night. Hi YouTube family, it's Helen in the Gone Potty Kitchen and today I'm making a very very easy to make potato pea and spinach curry. Now you know that I'm vegan and I very rarely, with a couple of exceptions, add any oil or butter to the cooking so it's very low fat and it's totally vegan and the fats tend to come from the ingredients. But of course, if you want to add those ingredients and that's how you like it, that's no problem. You can just add them in. But I'm going to show you my version. And it's really easy to make and it is so, so tasty. So let's dive right in to what we need and how to make it. And here we have all the gorgeous ingredients. You'll need two cloves of garlic that have been minced or chopped finely half a large onion that's been chopped, one tablespoon of tomato paste, five ounces of fresh tomatoes, so that's round about five medium tomatoes, 14 ounces of chopped potatoes. You can leave them with the skin on if you like, but for this, which is a very silky smooth curry, um, I uh, have them peeled. We need a can of coconut milk, one tablespoon of curry powder, one teaspoon of turmeric, one teaspoon of garam masala, one cup of spinach, half a cup of green peas, and they can be fresh or frozen, and then your salt and pepper to taste. And, of course, you may want to prepare some rice to serve unless you're having it with something else. So... Those are the ingredients and they're very easy to get hold of and this is going to taste absolutely amazing. So the first thing that I do is in a large skillet pan, I will saute in some water or vegetable stock, the onion and the garlic. Now this is the point where if you like to add oil, you can use oil with uh, instead of the water uh, or the stock, but because I'm keeping this as low fat as possible, no processed oils, that's part of my way of eating, then uh, I use the water or the stock, but you can, if you prefer, saute in some olive oil or butter or whatever you like. Now, when they have sauteed for a couple of minutes, just add the chopped tomatoes and you're going to cook those down nicely. And after a few minutes... Having added the tomatoes, you'll find that as they cook through, they begin to release their own juice and they become very soft and mushy and just press them down and then you need to add all your spices. So in goes the turmeric, the curry powder, the garam masala and any salt and pepper, unless you prefer to add that later to your own taste. It doesn't matter but at this point, as everything is bubbling and softening, you're going to add your spices. So you add that in and you give it a really good mix around. Once you've given that a good mix and it's bubbling through nicely, you're then going to add some more flavour by adding in the tomato. And with the spices, you can also add the coconut milk so that it all cooks through with that lovely creamy coconut flavour. In go the potatoes. So you add that in and you give it a really good mix around. Mix them through really well with the sauce and then you're going to put the lid on. Once it's come to the boil, then put it right down to a simmer and allow them to cook for 15 to 20 minutes until you feel that they are nice and tender. Once the potatoes have cooked, 
You then add in the peas and the spinach and they will only take about five minutes to cook through. And uh, it start, we start now to see the lovely contrasts of colour, the, the reds, the oranges, the yellows, the greens. And it's starting to look really fantastic. It is, I promise you, this is so delicious. And here is the finished meal in the pan ready to serve. We're going to serve this with rice with a little bit of curry, fresh coriander garnish. And it tastes absolutely delicious. But I'm going to let you into a secret. The recipe is very, very mild. And although we don't like hot spicy food, it does need something. So I've added... I've added half a teaspoon of mild chilli powder to just give it a little bit more uh, zing to it without it being burning hot. Well, Mrs Gone Potty, this is the first time using this recipe. So I'd like to know what you think. Right, let's get tasting. So this is the potato curry. Looks very hot. Mm. I'll have that again. <laughs> <laughs> Let's try a little bit more sauce. Let's just check. Good? It's very good. I'll let you into a secret. What's that? Well, when it was ready, it was a bit bland. Right. So I added half a teaspoon of mild chilli powder. Wow. And okay. that's given it a a bit, bit more. Of a kick. Yeah, but without being burning hot. Okay. So, bon appetit. Lovely. Why not come and join me on Facebook or Instagram? The link is in the description.